Greetings, Calvary and friends. This is Pastor Walton. I hope that you are, you and your family are, are doing well. I am doing well. We give God praise for that. Uh, our scripture for today, uh, which is taken out of uh, our scripture calendar, uh, is Colossians 1, 21 through 23. And it reads as follows out of the New King James Version. And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing, understanding, and application of his holy word. Amen. Well, just wanted to uh, let you know that in base upon this scripture, it's so very important for us to be witnesses for Christ, those of us who are saved, those of us who know the Lord, uh, and to be able to witness and to share uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Remember, justification, regeneration, sanctification. And here uh, in the epistle to the Colossians, there were those among them who were sowing bad seed, uh, trying to uh, convince the people that faith in Christ was not enough. Uh, it went on then, it even goes on today. So we just have to be mindful of that. We have to be prayed up. We have to be led by the Holy Spirit as he has us uh, witness uh, to the faith that we have in Jesus Christ. One other thing I wanted to mention, I want to thank you very, very much for your continued online giving. As that you continue to give online. Thank you so much for those of you who have been coming by the church from 11 to 1. I want to thank uh, those uh, who are there uh, for you, receive that from you. Thank you so much to that team of people. Um, and want to just uh, let you know that we've decided to delay uh, the reopening uh, because of the spikes uh, and because of the responses that, that you gave us on your poll. Thank you so very, very much for responding to that. And so we're just kind of watching things. Uh, but as you have been watching the news, like we all have, uh, it's really been spiking up and everything. So we just continue to watch that um, and we continue to trust God and know that uh, whenever God is ready, we will be back uh, in the sanctuary together uh, in some configuration. Uh, we know that it's not going to be the same as it was, but we're looking forward to what is what God is doing uh, in our future, individually as well as collectively as a church family. Amen. So let's look to God in prayer. Lord God, we love you and we thank you. We thank you that you're in charge. We thank you that you know all, you understand us, you made us you formed us in our mother's womb. There's nothing about our lives that you don't understand. And so, God, I pray that you would touch each member of Calvary, touch those who are going through times of sickness, times where their body is unwell. Bless them right now in the name of Jesus. Those who are bereft of loved ones, I pray your comfort. You are the God of all comfort. Pray your comfort upon them. Those who are going through joblessness, those who have been laid off of their job, money's extremely tight. Lord, I ask, oh God, that you would have your way, Lord, and you, you are a provider, Lord God. And so pray that you would provide and bless and intercede in any situation. Lord God, bless those who are going through depression, going through any kind of oppression, Lord God. Have your way. And then, Lord God, we pray that you'd have your way in our city. Lord, so much is going on. We pray that you would rebuke the devourer for our sake with all these homicides, that you would have your way in the city of Milwaukee, the state of Wisconsin, and this country. We know that you are King of Kings and that you are Lord of Lords. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks and we say hallelujah and amen. 